As a 9X employee, you are part of a proud tradition of service, not just in the way you do your job, but in a shared feeling of responsibility to the company, to the community, and to each other. Today, that spirit of personal responsibility is more meaningful and more vital than ever. Our company, and everyone in it, is part of a larger issue, environmental responsibility. And each of us, from technicians to clerks to managers and to officers, has an important role to play. In response to public concern about protection for the environment, Congress ordered regulatory agencies to develop environmental regulations that impact the entire business community, including Ninex. Like many companies, we use materials that can impact the environment unless they're properly used and managed. From the engine oil in our motor vehicles to the components in our equipment, from cables and manholes to the fluorescent ballasts in our offices. Even equipment we share in joint ownership arrangements and the records that we keep may be subject to regulations imposed by federal, state, and local environmental agencies. And what each of us does can mean the difference between compliance and civil and criminal penalties to the company and possibly to individual employees. That doesn't mean that you need to learn every detail of environmental regulation, but you do need to be aware of and follow the policies and procedures developed by 9X environmental experts to be in compliance with environmental laws. The following procedures protect you, the company, and the environment. In some cases, 9X policy goes beyond both federal and state requirements. But in every case, it's 9X policy that its business units conduct operations in compliance with all applicable federal, state, and local environmental requirements. If your job entails working with hazardous materials, the information you need to know in regard to compliance has been compiled into one convenient source, the 9X Environmental Management Plan. This document contains uniform instructions and policies for areas of environmental concern across all 9X business units. If it's compliance related and applies to you and what you do, you'll find it spelled out here. But the 9X Environmental Management Plan is more than an instruction book for employees. It's a living document, the synthesis of our company-wide commitment to environmental compliance, a commitment that starts at the top. The 9X Environmental Management Program is directed by the Corporate Environmental Officer, who is appointed by the 9X Chairman and Chief Executive Officer. The Corporate Environmental Officer develops corporate policies for compliance with applicable environmental and safety laws and regulations. But not alone, this officer is supported by the 9X Environmental Council, which authorizes corporate policies and procedures on environmental and safety issues. The council consists of the corporate environmental officer and six or more senior managers representing 9X business units. The council is supported by a variety of working committees, ensuring a perspective that encompasses a broad range of related concerns. The actual development of policies and practices in environmental and safety areas is the responsibility of the environmental policy staff. This group reviews the federal and state legislation and regulations which may impact 9X business units and then uses that information as a basis for a variety of activities to ensure environmental compliance, including developing internal training programs and performing compliance reviews. Within each business unit, there is a point of contact for environmental and safety matters related to that group. This is the business unit environmental coordinator who oversees day-to-day -day compliance with environmental and occupational health and safety regulations. He or she may also be the primary contact with regulatory agencies or community representatives should a reportable environmental incident occur. If you have questions concerning environmental management, you'll find the names and phone numbers of environmental coordinators and their staffs in the 9X Environmental Management Plan. 
Even closer at hand, each 9X facility, whether a garage, an office building, or a central office, will have a facility environmental coordinator who is responsible for daily compliance with environmental and safety requirements at that facility, or in some cases, at several facilities. For facility environmental coordinators, that can mean anything from reviewing applicable corporate requirements to maintaining environmental permits, making regular site environmental and safety reviews, and monitoring environmental documentation, including community reporting when hazardous chemicals are stored at the facility above reporting quantity thresholds. As you can see, the company environmental management structure is designed to be responsive but there is one more vital element. Wherever the 9X operation extends, in office buildings, central offices, garages, or in the field, the key supporting member of the structure in environmental management and compliance is you, the individual. You and your sense of environmental responsibility are the key to making the 9X environmental program work on a day-to-day -day basis. The fact is, in the overall picture of 9X environmental management, the factor with the most far-reaching impact is the alertness and commitment of the person on the spot. When that person is you, you're the one counted on to follow the practices and policies contained in the 9X environmental management plan, all the time and every time. And since in some cases, you may also be the only one to know that a potential problem exists, we need you to help correct it or to immediately report it to make sure that proper corrective action is taken. For example, if you work at a 9X motor vehicle repair facility, you deal every day with materials and activities that can be critical for environmental compliance, including activities as basic as draining oil from a vehicle. Following proper procedures, even on those days when it seems that everything needs to be done at once, can make all the difference between environmental compliance or a serious problem. And if there should be a hazardous material spill, we count on you to report it immediately to make sure the proper control measures are taken. If you're in the field, you're the company's front line for compliance in other ways. For example, the removal of equipment that may contain materials covered by environmental procedures. Some practices, such as abandoning used utility poles, are now prohibited by 9X policy. There are other very specific procedures for removing and collecting poles for final disposition, and we need you to continuously follow them. In other locations, central offices for example, it may be your attention to the little things that's particularly important. For example, you may only be removing a single defective mercury relay. But by taking a second to check in the 9X environmental management plan, you'll find information that will help you identify what the proper disposition requirements are. Environmental management also requires documentation, such as inspection logs, records of underground storage tank operation, and hazardous waste manifests. Maintaining essential records is an area of documentation where your vigilance is needed. But your assistance is important not just in meeting regulatory requirements. There are things we all can do that aren't even required by law. For example, voluntary initiatives we can take to help prevent pollution. It may mean taking that extra step to prevent even the smallest spill, or adhering to plain good sense. But whatever form they take, your cooperation is critical for forward-looking environmental management at 9X. You've now seen the scope of the 9X environmental program. To put it into perspective, let's look at an overview of the major environmental legislation that set the regulatory framework for the plan. Although state and local environmental laws vary according to the location of each business unit, United States operations must meet regulatory requirements set by dozens of federal laws enforced primarily by the Environmental Protection Agency. Here are a few of the laws that have the most impact on our business and some of their key provisions. The Clean Air Act sets national clean air quality standards in order to protect human health and the environment. It sets emission limits for airborne pollutants, such as carbon monoxide, 
ozone-depleting chemicals and asbestos. It can also require employers to implement programs to reduce employee commuting in order to lessen motor vehicle pollution in specific areas where air quality is a problem. The Clean Water Act governs any discharge of liquid pollutants into the environment. Standards set by the Act apply to facilities with the potential for discharging oil and other hazardous materials into navigable waters or water treatment systems. The Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation and Liability Act, commonly known as Superfund, requires parties who generate materials that contaminate property to bear the cost of cleaning it up, independent of any negligence by the generator. This act was expanded in 1986 to incorporate amendments, including the Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act, which governs reporting of the types, quantities, and locations of hazardous chemicals on a site. Included under this act are requirements for emergency planning and notification procedures in case of unplanned releases of hazardous substances and hazardous materials. The Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, also known as RECRA, provides a cradle-to-grave system for the management of hazardous waste. This law requires generators to document and be responsible for every step in the handling of hazardous waste, from generation and transportation through treatment, storage, and disposal. The Toxic Substances Control Act, or TOSCA, was enacted to control the manufacture and sale of certain toxic substances. One of the substances specifically regulated under TOSCA is PCBs. The U.S. Hazardous Materials Transportation Act, which establishes regulations enforced by the Department of Transportation. These regulations address the way we pack, handle, label, mark, placard, and route any shipment of hazardous materials. And finally, OSHA Hazard Communications Standard, or HAZCOM, covers the labeling, training, and material safety data sheets for hazardous chemicals in the workplace. A hazardous chemical, MSDS, may trigger EPA community environmental reporting requirements. These major regulations and others make up the continuously growing, constantly changing body of federal environmental laws. Hi, my name is Kaz Skripsak, and I'm the environmental officer at 9X. And it's one of the responsibilities that I have that I'm most pleased to be a part of. And I'm pleased to be a part of it because the environment is so important to all of us. Being able to help preserve this beautiful, pristine environment that I'm standing in today is something that we all feel good about doing for ourselves, for our families, and for future generations. And we at 9X have a particularly important role to play in this because not only do we work and play and live in the environment and hence consume energy, use chemicals, uh, contribute to uh, concerns about environmental pollution and there's much that we can be doing and should be doing to reduce the impact that we have on the environment. An even more important role that we have is one to help others become more environmentally safe and more environmentally sound and we do that through the products and services that our company offers. Services such as telecommuting and video conferencing and voice messaging are so important in helping others become more environmentally efficient and more environmentally sound. So won't you join with me in working together as a 9X team to create the kind of environment that we would be proud to pass along to future generations. Thank you very much. Caring for the environment. It's the core of environmental management at 9X. All of us as a team working toward environmental protection. When opportunities for pollution prevention occur, are you too busy to recognize them and put them into practice? Who's there? Opportunity. I'm busy. Go away. Too bad. Oh, I don't think it happens that way. Opportunity probably rings the bell. But no matter how it happens, unless we're looking for opportunity, we won't recognize it. And that's how it is with pollution prevention. There are many opportunities to prevent or reduce it, but we have to look for them. We have to take the initiative. 
And that's the purpose of this video module, to help you identify opportunities for achieving pollution prevention. Pollution prevention is a voluntary initiative. Its objective is to help protect the environment in areas that may be inadequately dealt with through pollution control programs mandated by legislation or regulatory agencies. When we prevent pollution, we can decrease material usage and the generation of waste, and that helps protect the environment. Further, pollution prevention efforts can complement 9x quality improvement processes because they can lead to cleaner operations through improved efficiency. A good way to start looking for pollution prevention opportunities is to realize that the term pollution is just another way of saying waste. So identifying opportunities for pollution prevention means looking for ways to eliminate or reduce the generation of waste material. Look for waste, then determine the source of the waste. Now evaluate the options. Identify techniques to eliminate the causes of the waste. If you can't completely eliminate the waste, can you reduce it? Ask, can this material be reused or recycled? Then implement the most efficient, most cost-effective method to eliminate or reduce the waste. And keep in mind that pollution prevention efforts include reducing both hazardous and non-hazardous materials and reducing our use of resources such as water and energy through conservation or more efficient use. Here are some suggestions for pollution prevention through improved housekeeping. Tightly seal containers of chemicals, solvents, paint thinners, and similar materials to avoid spillage and evaporation. Place recyclables in their designated containers and be sure these containers are properly labeled. Put absorbent mats on the tops of drums. This will absorb drips and prevent liquid buildup, which could run down the side when transferring fluids. Don't top off your fuel tank. Stop pumping when the automatic shutoff engages. Then wait five seconds to allow all the fuel to drain before you remove the nozzle. Act to quickly contain a spill to prevent any hazardous materials from entering the environment. Here are some suggestions for pollution prevention through management of hazardous materials. Dike fluid storage areas so that any accidental spills would be contained. Maintain material safety data sheets for all hazardous materials in your area. This information can help you to efficiently respond to a spill and to minimize the amount of contaminated material generated during cleanup. Whenever possible, choose reusable containers over disposable ones. And you can encourage chemical suppliers to do the same by asking them to accept empty containers for reuse. Since energy production creates waste byproducts, energy conservation is synonymous with pollution prevention. 9X participates in a voluntary EPA program to upgrade to energy efficient systems and is committed to improving the efficiency of lighting, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning throughout its facilities. Other building management opportunities to conserve energy are turn off equipment power and lights when they're not in use. Use more efficient motors and improve lubrication practices for motor-driven equipment. Install timers and or thermostats to improve control over heating and cooling. Improve or increase insulation on heating or cooling lines. Opportunities for pollution prevention also exist in office areas. For example, we often overlook paper pollution. Paper and paperboard products are estimated to make up 80% of the waste stream from office areas. Surveys indicate that each office worker produces an average of half a pound of paper waste per day. Here's a few suggestions for cutting back. Make two-sided copies whenever possible. Use both sides of a pad when making notes. Check the 9X catalog for recycled products like toner cartridges and writing paper. 9X is working toward changing packaging specifications to reduce material usage and encouraging the increased use of electronic transfer of documents. Remember, you can find pollution prevention opportunities throughout your workplace, but they won't come knocking on your door. You have to take the initiative. 
your starting point is to determine where waste is being generated. Now, identify and evaluate techniques to eliminate or reduce that waste. Then, implement the most efficient method. Chapter 24 of the 9X Environmental Management Plan contains a variety of suggestions for pollution prevention. And if you'd like to look into the subject of pollution prevention more thoroughly, you can obtain additional information from sources such as trade associations, trade journals, and environmental agencies.